Today's secret is about a feature of the i300 Pro. We call it the methods. In order to create a new method, we first have to go into the operation mode methods. This is only available on the i300 Pro. We see already someone created a method here, but we want to create a new one. We would like to create a method which has four steps. The first step would be to go down from ambient to 100 millibar and then stay there for a few minutes. Then let the user replace the receiving flask and at the end we want to dry the sample. Let's do this. Let's give it a name. For example, demo 02. And now we want four steps. Four steps over here. The first step would be a so-called gradient. In the gradient we want to start at 900 millibar and then go down gradually to 100 millibar. Let's say this takes five minutes. The rotation speed, speed shall be at 150 rpm. The heating bath temperature at 40 degrees. Save the step. The second step now, as we are on 100 millibar, would be to stay on the 100 millibar for 10 minutes. We choose the same function. It's a gradient again, but instead of doing a gradient, we just set the vacuum to 100 millibar. Just do this by using the wheel. 100. Fantastic. The timer, 10 minutes. Rotation still 150. Save. The first, third step now is to replace the receiving flask. For that reason, we choose the function pulls. We can choose from a number of messages, for example, remove collecting flask, cleaning condenser, or attach dry collecting flask. We choose that, we save the step, and now we want to dry the sample. That's the last step. We go in, we select the function dry. Let's say 10 millibars is okay, we could even go lower, just so that the pump is running full speed. Rotation 50 RPM seems fine, 40 degrees heating bath, and we want to do this for 10 minutes, and the rotation interval 10 seconds into one direction, 10 seconds into the other direction. Let's save that. So now we have created the whole method, we can save it. And now one thing we can see is we over here we have already a preview. So we have demo 1 and we switch to demo 2, the method we've just created, and we see a very nice preview over here which says the pink line here starts at 900 millibar goes down to 100 and then stays for 10 minutes at 100, then we have a break and then it continues at 10 millibar. The heating bath temperature, for example, is 40 millibar all the time. So that chart allows you to quickly identify the method and understand what the method will actually do. Once I'm ready or once I'm, I'm happy with this method, I can just press start and the method will exactly run the way I programmed it.